Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and today I'm going to share a nice little resource which is a map. It's basically a big JPEG picture and you can actually zoom in or out on it. I would suggest that if you go on this page to right click on it and save the picture on your computer to make sure that if this is not available anymore at some point at least you have it on your computer. It is really cool because it's a map of the aeronautical communications around the world. One of the fun things you can do on shortwave is listen to airplanes when they are actually doing transatlantic or transpacific routes. When they have long distance routes, they're still using a lot of shortwave communications. If basically you just punch in some of these frequencies, you will hear airplanes checking into different airports around the world. Now this map is cool because you can take, for example, here's North America. I live in Montreal, so what I can do is zoom in and check out from my part of the world the North Atlantic routes. You got the North Atlantic routes A with the different letters, so A, B, C, uh, and so on. And you've got the different frequencies used by these. Uh, and this is nice, because it means that when you're listening to some frequencies, you know approximately what route the planes were using over the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, or so on. And this is a world map, so basically wherever you live in the world, you just look at what zone you want to listen to and try to listen to these frequencies. So you'll always know pretty much in what zone approximately you are listening to a plane. Very interesting map. All the frequencies are here. You just have to check it out. So I'll put the link to this in the description below the video. Remember all these frequencies are shortwave upper sideband frequencies. And I can tell you, if you have uh, time, just park your radio on one of those frequencies, depending on the time of day. Remember, you know, higher frequencies in the daytime, lower frequencies at night. And I can bet you you'll hear some uh, communications from uh, airplanes checking into different airports around the world. So really nice to check this out. Now listen to these because more and more I'm hearing that in the next few years more and more planes are moving to satellite com meaning that with the years the months and the years that are coming we'll hear less and less traffic on the HF bands with aeronautical frequencies so take your time to listen it's worth it and it's fun there's a lot of stuff happening a great example of that uh, last summer while I was tuning in, heard communications about, you know, you hear all sorts of tough, uh, stuff on here. Um, I heard communications about um, a man that had some kind of uh, uh, cardiac arrest problem and uh, they requested, you know, to talk to a doctor and so on. Uh, you know, depending on what's happening, it's pretty surprising how that is happening over your head on the air. So uh, check this out. And remember to save the map to your computer to make sure that you keep a copy of this map. These frequencies never typically change. These are fixed frequencies that are known for years. So uh, check it out and if you want to listen to aeronautical frequencies, this is a great map. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online and give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Always fun to have your feedback if you have any comments or questions.